Hi everyone, I'm Neve, and I'm a research scientist at Biops. Our paper is called Chucky is a Sink Cuckoo Filter for LS Entry, and this is joint work with Michelle Twito, the CTO at Biops. LS Entry is a data structure that's widely used across the industry today in many storage engines and key value stores. It works by buffering key value entries in memory, uh, flushing them to storage as sorted runs when it fills up, and sort merging these runs across levels of exponentially increasing capacities. For each run, there's a Bloom filter in main memory, where Bloom filter is a probabilistic data structure used to help us skipping runs that don't contain the key we're looking for. And while these Bloom filters are much smaller than the data set, they might lead to false positives, which cause redundant storage accesses. Now, due to the rapid evolution of solid state drives over the past 20 years, the performance gap between storage and memory devices has shrunk to as little as two orders of magnitude today. This causes the Bloom filters to now emerge as a performance bottleneck. The first facet of the problem is construction cost. Bloom filters are immutable and must be rebuilt from scratch for each merge operation. This can amount to a large overhead. Moreover, query costs can be an issue. So having to access each one of the Bloom filters in memory can approach or even exceed the latency of the SSDIO eventually issued to retrieve the target entry from storage. Worse, as the data size grows, there are more levels in the LS entry across which Bloom filters need to be queried and constructed, leading to increasing overheads with data size. So our goal is to replace the Bloom filters with a data structure that achieves better memory access costs than the Bloom filters. However, we must also maintain the same false positive rate and memory footprint as, as the Bloom filters so as not to become worse than other fronts. To this end, we introduce Chucky, or Huffman Coded Key Value Store. Chucky replaces the Bloom filters by a hash table that maps from every key in the system to the level where on that the corresponding entry resides. So for example, if we have a key X at level two, there'll be a matching entry in the hash table. Whenever an entry gets moved to a new level as a result of a merge operation, we also update its corresponding location in the hash table. And because of the constant time access cost, Chucky achieves a constant time uh, query overhead, and it also achieves far cheaper updates because the hash table is mutable, unlike the Bloom filters, which are immutable. However, a lingering problem is that having to store all keys uh, in the hash table can amount to a large performance overhead. To this end, Chucky stores a fingerprint for each key instead of the key itself, where a fingerprint is a hash digest obtained by hashing a key. Uh, storing fingerprints, however, can lead to false positives with a probability that depends on the fingerprint size. However, even after replacing the uh, keys by fingerprints, the level IDs can still emerge as a large um, memory overhead. To see this, suppose that the level IDs are encoded as integers. Well, as the data grows um, and the number of levels grows too, the size of this integer encoding has to increase to be able to identify more levels uniquely. Um, and now, assuming we have a memory budget of m bits per entry, the fact that level IDs must grow means they must steal bits away from the fingerprints, which can cause the false positive rate to increase with data size. To solve this problem, our insight is that the level IDs are extremely compressible. Uh, the reason for this is that the distribution of level IDs within the hash table is extremely skewed because most entries in the LS entry reside at the largest level, while exponentially fewer reside at smaller levels. This in turn means that we can encode the IDs of larger levels with fewer bits. And while the IDs of smaller levels are now larger, they're also exponentially less common. Overall, this causes the average code length to converge to a constant that's independent of the number of levels. This in turn allows us to maintain this, uh, a constant fingerprint size on average as data size grows, and thus a stable false positive rate. A problem that can emerge with Chucky, however, is that the variable size level IDs can lead to alignment issues within buckets. For example, if both entries within a, uh, a bucket come from the largest level, they'll have shorter codes, which can lead to an underflow. However, if both entries come from smaller levels, they'll tend to have longer codes, which could lead to an overflow. To address this problem, uh, in the paper, we show how to assign larger fingerprints to larger levels to make up for the fact that they have um, shorter codes. This allows us to achieve much better memory utilization and efficiency. Uh, in the paper, we explore far more tricks to achieve uh, good alignment, as well as in the longer presentation. So overall, we introduced Chucky to replace the Bloom filters for an LS entry by a hash table mapping from the fingerprint for each key to a compressed level ID. Uh, by so doing, Chucky achieves far better uh, memory performance for queries and updates while matching Bloom filters in terms of the false positive rate and main memory footprint. So that's all, and thanks very much.